Hi everyone, I'm Talia. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like this video and you want to see more like it. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll get the newest and greatest news over at Brightly Imagined. Alright, so I have been dying for a long time to get into a Rodeo Web notebook. So I got this one and I just wanted to share a review with you guys. I'm going to be using it for Camp NaNoWriMo for July. So I'll be setting that up for all my NaNoWriMo subscribers. And uh, for everyone else, just it's reviewing the notebook and seeing how the paper holds up in the pen test. And I think that this paper hopefully will be very similar to the Rhodia notebooks. And those are something that everyone can use, uh, even in the Happy Planner if you wanted to buy some of those and hole punch them. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, let's go. Okay, so it's the web notebook and it's dot, and I'm not sure if you can see the dots there on here on this little cream colored, uh, cream colored uh, label. Um, it has a little bit of the dot on the side, just says dot grid. It's very uh, light on here, but let's go ahead and flip to the back. Okay, so on the back it's uh, 5.5 by 8.3 inches, <clears throat> 96 dot grid sheets. So that is a lot um, less, that's like half of what a look term is, a little less than half. Uh, it comes with a ribbon bookmark, just one, an expandable inner pocket. A lot of them have that, so that's good that it comes standard. 90 GSM ivory brushed vellum paper made by Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine is the magic word here, people, and that's why these ones are usually, when I hear about them, they're so highly reviewed is because of the paper. So we're going to flip through, check it out, see if that makes the difference. <clears throat> okay, so the strap is all right. Um, it's not too loose, not too tight. I would say it's going to pretty much hold your stuff together, so that's good. Uh, first impressions on the cover, I love when there's a little bit of branding on it because otherwise it's just a general plain notebook, and I actually kind of like to show off like what I'm using, like my supplies. I don't know if that's weird or if that's just me, but I kind of like knowing like this is a Rhodia notebook. And the, um, the cover is really nice. I really like it. And um, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there's a texture to it. Kind of just like little lines, almost like wood or, but not, not wood, but, or metal or something. It's very cool, very cool. And I like it. It feels really nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, let's open it up. <clears throat> okay, so here is our bookmark. It's a beautiful gray. It's very shiny. It almost has like a blue looking hue to it. At least in my lighting it does. And I love, love, love this silver right here. Isn't that so smart? I just want to, you know, put a little branding on it like my little name or, you know, a sticker or something. I don't know. Something that says me right there. That's really cool. And it's silver on this side also. And then, uh, <clears throat> of Claire Fontaine paper on the dot grid and it's an it's very smooth it feels very very neat, nice to the touch right here and um, it is very cream obviously you can see my white desk and the cream it's almost even creamier than the loister let me see yeah this is a Leuchterm 1917, and it's even a little darker than the Leuchterm, and I Leuchterm is uh, more cream colored than the scribbles that matter, so that's interesting to me that it's that dark. Um, but that's all right. Some people like them a little more cream. I kind of like white personally, so it's a little bit of a drawback for me. I'll let you know that. A uh, big drawback for me that I'm seeing already is the page numbers. No page numbers, gonna have to number them yourself, which is slightly tedious, but that's all right. So let's flip to the back here and see what we have. Okay, so yeah, again, it's 96 paper, uh-oh. 
little little problem with mine, but that's okay. Uh, silver. I love the silver in the back. And here's the pocket and the pocket silver. Oh, that's cute. And it's uh, black on the side. So I like that. And inside, is it silver? Oh my gosh, it's even silver inside. They really went all out on this. I appreciate that. I appreciate the little touches to make it look nice. So that's really cool. Um, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna have, usually I have it bleed through onto this page, but this page is silver. I'm not sure if that's a good test. So I'm gonna have to go two pages in for my pen test to see um, how far it bleeds through. I'm also going to go ahead and do a dot count because this seems like it's going outside the margins that they have on um, the Loic term because usually they have a page number here. So I'm going to do a dot count. So give me a second for that and then we will dive in to the pen test. Okay, so dot grid comparison to the Loic term. Uh, it's the same number across, so it's exactly the same width. It's 27, this one's 27 also. Um, but it is two more dots. Loic term has uh, 39, this one has 41. But that's because they've removed the, um, the margin that's at the top and the bottom. So they just put took the dots all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom, no page number. So, um, that might be a bonus for you if you need just like one more space up and down. Um, I think it would be great for, um, you know, calendars and things when you need like as much space as you can. Um, but I also think that you're going to lose some of this space due to the fact that you need to add your own page numbers. So it's almost going to negate the, that line being there. But definitely a plus to have more dots. I can't see more dots being a problem unless the space was smaller and the space is not smaller as the same distance, the five millimeter. Okay, so now we're gonna do our pen test. And if this is your first time seeing one of my pen tests, I'll kind of give you an overview. Uh, what I do is I write the name of the pen I'm using. So I'll do that right now. And um, so yes, this is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in small. So I wrote Faber-Castell and the S, so you know it's a small uh, nib. And then um, I do the uh, box, and the first box I shade in. And the second box I shade in three times. So I go diagonal. And then up and down, and then side to side to really layer on the ink. And that way we can really test if it bleeds through if you're coloring. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the rest of my pens. And then we'll go over them when we're done. Okay, so these are the pens I use. I, I use a variety because I figure that one of these is similar to one that you've been using and you can kind of gauge from um, based on that one, uh, which whether the pen will do well or not. Ooh, I kind of smeared it there. Okay, so now we're gonna do the moment of truth. We're gonna flip and see how it did. Um, but before I do that, I just wanna say again, this paper is divine to write on. Sometimes I just feel them and I'm like, yeah, that feels nice. And then I go to write and it doesn't feel very nice on the side of my hand. But this one is super smooth. Oh my gosh, I love it. So if you're looking for a very smooth paper, definitely recommend this one. Okay, let's see how it went. All right, wow, it's just the Sharpie. Now I always use the Sharpie because this is kind of the dummy test just to show, hey, not everything you can use 
will not bleed through. So if you have a great test, I always use the Sharpie because Sharpie pretty much is always gonna bleed through. So that though is the only one I see on this paper. I know I have it really brightly lit for you guys, but you know, my eyes are right here and there are nothing, there's nothing else bleeding through. So at least not onto the next page. So let's see over here. Um, not really, there might be a slight bleed through here, maybe, maybe this one too, and that one. These ones are definitely not, so let's see what these were. This was the um, rolling ball. Um, I always throw this one in there because it's a rolling ball pen, and I do love this pen. It's nice and thick, it's a V7, and it, I love how it writes. Um, but because it is a rolling ball, it does tend to scratch just a little bit, but this, is not very bad at all and I don't even know if I can count it as bleed through if it is it's like one or two little spots and that's pretty impressive because usually it scratches up a little bit more on the triple layer the single layers are great on all of these so I'm just looking at the triple layer um, the other one that might have bled through is the paper mate flare actually um I don't know if I can count that. I mean, it doesn't even feel like it feathered. Like a lot of times, um, like with a Crayola Super Tip, you can feel like it starts to feather with that much ink. It almost starts to brush off the paper. But um, yeah, it's definitely not happening there. Maybe it just looks darker so it looks like it's ink. Cause I can't even see spots. Like these aren't even spotting. I've had ones that spot. Maybe this one's spotting. Which one's this one? This one is the, Crayola Super Tip. Yeah, that one started to feather a little bit for some reason. I don't know if I just pressed harder on it. Maybe that one's bleeding through a little bit, but not even the Tombos are doing that. That's so strange. Usually that's not the case, but I don't even think, I don't know. Let me give it another try. I'm gonna retest these guys because they're the ones that are confusing me. So when they're confusing me, I kind of just do a big splotch on it. So there's my Paper Mate Flare splotch. Just coloring it in. Here's my Crayola Super Tip splotch. Just coloring that in. And we'll see how that looks on the other side. Yeah, those guys are not bleeding through. They just show up because they're dark. I mean, the Super Tip isn't that dark. When I layer it, it's darker, but the purple is just dark, so I'm thinking it's bleeding through, and it's not. It's not bleeding through at all. None of these are. This is probably the best pen test I've ever had, and I've heard great things about this paper, so I'm kind of not surprised, but I kind of also am, because, wow, that's really, really good. Okay, so would I recommend this notebook? Let's talk about the pros and the cons a little bit. Um, first, love the cover, love the branding, and I love the little touches of the silver, and this extra silver in the back pocket. I think that's really great. Uh, the other big plus is obviously a pen test. This paper is to die for. It holds up really well. I love it and it's so soft to the touch. I just adore it. Um, cons, um, I'm not that big of a fan of cream as I said before and I'm very sad when I have to number my own pages but that's just a personal preference. Um, and also, uh, there's only one bookmark, even though it is a beautiful bookmark. I love it. It has a little sheen to it. It almost catches the light of the blue. So I, I love that bookmark, but I wish there were a few more. And I don't know, an index might be nice since, uh, you know, I'm going to be using it for bullet journaling. So that's just where I'm coming from on that, but it's not necessary if you're just going to use it for other things. And I will put an index in here. It's not the end of the world to add your own index to a dot grid. Um, so, oh, and the last thing that is really kind of a bummer is um, just that it's um, only 96 pages. It's um, pretty much half of what the other ones are because I mean, the Loic term is actually 249 pages, so it's 150 more pages, uh, a little more than that, but you know, around 150 more pages because this one only has 96. So um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer that it's gonna 
end so quickly. Um, but hey, so if you like to leave notebooks really fast, that might be great for you because um, I have had, I do get a little bored in the long term sometimes. It's almost like too much paper. And so you're like, I don't want to start a new bullet journal. I'm getting bored with this one. And then you still have, you know, 100 pages to go. That's like, oh. So that could be a plus for some people, so I'm not going to knock that. So would I recommend this? Um, I definitely would. I think it's, it's really nice. It's really cute. If you can get it for um, a good price, a price where you're like, okay, I'm getting better quality paper, but only 96, but it's a good price. I think I'll go for it. Then I would definitely get this because it is super nice, super good quality. I just wish there was a little more bang for my buck, you know? All right, guys, so that was it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified of my next video. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.